ATA CMS mowed down Russian S 400s in Crimea, and more serious attacks are coming. Ukraine is actively using ATA CMS missiles to destroy Russian targets in temporarily occupied Crimea, including enemy S 400 systems. Forbes writes about this. For example, in mid May, the Ukrainian military fired a powerful salvo of 10 American made missiles at the Russian Belbek base near Sevastopol in occupied Crimea. The strike caused considerable damage to the occupiers. Photographs from the ground confirmed that a radar and two launchers of the S-400 anti-aircraft battery were destroyed. The missiles were also reported to have damaged four military aircraft at a nearby military airfield. It is not surprising that the Russians quickly replaced the destroyed S-400 components, but not so long ago, Ukraine struck the S-400 battery in Belbek. Unidentified munitions likely the same M39A1 ATA CMS also struck two other defense batteries nearby, another S-400 and a shorter range S-300. At least 10 ATA CMS missiles were used during the strike and the Russian air defense system was unable to intercept any of them, the Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies said. It was noted that two radars were destroyed, one each from the S-300 and S-400 batteries. The information from the third radar was clarified. Belbek becomes an attrition trap for the best air defense system of the Russian aerospace forces. Ukraine is destroying fresh missile batteries approximately as quickly as they can be deployed, the publication writes. The Russians have already lost two S-400 command posts, four radars and 16 launchers with Oryx, analysts can confirm. In total, the Ukrainian missile raids may have destroyed parts of four or five S-400 batteries. Ironically, the S-400s were designed as anti-missiles, but apparently they did not work. The Russian aerospace forces have more than 50 S-400 batteries, but the batteries are useless for Russia's military operations in Ukraine if they cannot withstand Ukrainian missile attacks. The more S-400s the Russians deploy in Ukraine, the more S-400s they are likely to lose, he emphasizes. Forbes. Some Russian observers fear that more serious attacks are coming. If the Ukrainians follow the American strike doctrine, then air defense batteries are attacked first. After this, aviation based on the F-16, under the wings of which there is a wide range of ammunition, will come into play, one of the Russian bloggers said. The first F-16s, former Danish models, should arrive in Ukraine in the coming weeks. Don't be surprised if the fighters quickly begin striking Russian bases in Crimea. Bases whose air defenses are constantly weakening under barrages of ATA CMS, CMS missiles, the publication summarizes.